Burundian president and his Congolese counterpart, Flex Sisekedi, have appealed for uh, their fellow leaders in the Eastern African community to compel the M23 rebels to go into the garrison in Eastern DRC that has been reserved for them in a ceasefire deal. Now, the two leaders made the call at a recent press conference in the DRC capital, Kinshasa, during the visit of the Burundian leader. The regional bloc had initiated a joint military force to fight against the M23 rebels. And here's more details of that in this report. Burundian President Evariste Ndaishimie arrives at the Palais de la Nation in Kinshasa to discuss security and trade agreements with his host, President Felix Chisekedi. The two leaders signed a security agreement to further strengthen their defense ties. Under the deal, Burundi and the DRC will work together to fight against armed groups operating in their territory. The Burundian leader is the current head of the East African community, which deployed troops to restore security in eastern DRC last year. Today we have noticed that other Congolese rebel groups have agreed to lay down their weapons, but the M23 rebels are uncooperative. It's for that reason that we demand that all of us in the regional bloc come together to compel them to respect the ceasefire and withdraw from all occupied areas. They have to go to the containment site. The disarming of the M23 rebels stalled after the group refused to withdraw from areas they captured without first holding talks with the DRC government. Earlier this year, the DRC president said his government will not hold talks with the rebels whom he accused of being a proxy of Rwanda, a charge that Rwanda has denied. President Chisekedi also criticized troops from some member states of the East African community for allowing the M23 rebels to harass civilians in the areas under their control. We demand that the regional force be more active just like the Burundian contingent, because we have observed some laxity in certain places. Some of the contingents have been allowing the M23 rebels to collect taxes, which is totally illegal and unacceptable. The resurgence of the M23 rebels in late 2021 has displaced more than a million people in North Kivu province. Some Congolese citizens have urged their government to order the East African Regional Force to leave their country for failing to fight against the M23 rebels. The Regional Force's mandate is to contain and defeat armed groups that refuse to stop fighting in Eastern DRC. The Force's current mandate is set to expire on September 8th. The DRC government has been clear that the extension of the East African Regional Forces mandate will depend on whether they can force the M23 rebels to withdraw from the areas they captured. Although there has been no fighting between the M23 rebels and Congolese forces over the past six months, cases of human rights abuse have been rife in the rebel-held areas. Chris Sochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.